Yo, what's up? And today we're gonna be looking at Pike and the new season. Now they did change support item, support items, into World Atlas, and it works like so: when you damage a champion or a building, it gives you gold, right? So that's how the old range of the support item works. Killing a minion also gives you twenty gold, and to the nearest ally champion, it's not different. It's more balanced. Uh, and it's more balanced towards melee champions, which I thought were weak against ranged champions who could just poke you and get their support item done even faster. But now they don't give you AD or AP. They do give you health and mana regen both at the same time, which is really good. But I think it's also really good is that the fact that they did remove AD or AP from it, they did buff up the health from it. So if you're a pike player, of course, you'll get 30 health, which can, uh, in turn commence into 2 AD. Two and a half AD, somewhere like that. It's not bad, but I'm pretty sure if you level it, level it up, uh, it'll, it'll give you more health, resulting into even more AD. Um, I don't think they changed anything about Pike. Last change they made was uh, giving W a small cool cooldown. Now they did I uh, add a lot more items for uh, assassins. Serpent's Fang now gives less AD. I feel like everything just gives less AD. They added Profane Hydra, which is a new item, and I haven't looked at it yet. And it's basically just a Hydra, it has a cleave, right? So this is built from a Tiamat and a Brutalizer. Brutalizer is a new item, and they did remove Draftar, Duskblade. I thought, I thought it's, I think it's a horrible item, honestly. I, I didn't like Draftar, there's Duskblade on Pike. Duskblade didn't fit on Pike. It fit, uh, it was good on Pike before they nerfed it, actually. Hubris. Killing a champion and creates a statue of itself. One champion that you have damaged within the last three seconds dies. Gain 10 plus 1 per statue attack damage for 60 seconds. Uh, this might be good for like Talon or Nefiri. For more of those like kind of sustainy assassins. I don't think this will be good on Pike. Now, Yomu's... I'm pretty sure they changed lethality as well so that it doesn't scale as better. Or something like, uh, like that. Now, they did remove the passive from Yomu's. They gave you a lethality when you were out of combat, and they actually added a new item that uh, gives you that passive. And I feel like this will be a really good item on Pike, since if a champion dies within 3 seconds of damaging them, gain 150 decaying move speed for 1.5 seconds. It is really good. I feel like it'll be really good, because um, you'll be able to kill that champion. Uh, most of the times, you want to ult someone, and then get out as quick as you can because you're probably gonna be low on HP. So boom, you are. They die, you get 150 move speed. And if you're low on HP, you can just use W and you'll get so much move speed. Like you'll get a lot of move speed. And you can just flank, roam around, try to heal up. Okay, let's look at the new items. Uh, these are all these are all been here. First attack against the champion crits for 150 and the heals for 77. I feel like this is gonna be a great item on the Fury. They did change Cerilla's. It gives you 25% armor pen. Oh yeah, 25% armor pen and it scales off of your lethality. So the more lethality you have, this passive is going to give you more armor pen. Okay, I understand now. I wonder if they changed Shojin. Your, your non-ultimate spell, spells gain 15 ability haste. Spell has grant up to 4% of your spells deal 3% increased damage for each stack. Another thing I noticed is Eclipse is not here, which is a uh, really... Oh, they changed the cliffs. Now it's not two abilities. It's three abilities or attacks. Okay, this might not be as good on Pike. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably not going to build a cliffs anywhere. Uh, I feel like this is going to be a really good item on Pike. 300 HP, that converts to 1480. It doesn't give you lethality. It definitely gives you ability haste, which is really good on Pike. Always. Always really good. Plus, we're not even like level 11. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I don't even have, uh, my runes. I have Ingenious Hunter right now, so I don't have Ultimate Hunter. What is this? After casting your ultimate gain, oh, this might be really good for, like, Yon or something. Maybe. Honestly, Assassins are looking kind of weak. Profane Hydra, let's see how much it deals. 274 plus 110 to surrounding champions, and then cleave. Okay. Now, what I'm trying to figure out is if Pike's jungle will be viable. And I mean if. I haven't tried it yet. I'm probably going to pick like Smite next game. Your attacks apply true damage. Oh. 
damage over time effect the structure increased by each stack of two stacks okay i just realized this item is pretty good on him but uh it costs 3500 which is the one we i have okay so let's see Let's say you get first blood, right? You gank a lane and you get first blood. Then you can buy a this thing, right? You get a team at, and then you go back into jungle, and then you go to raptors. Now that would be the ideal situation. If you didn't get first blood, then you are kind of fucked. Okay, we're queuing up a uh, mid pike and uh, cane support in quick play. Wait, so we're just in the game. What? Man, that's so horrible, by the way. I changed my runes in the quick play, like, uh... I changed my runes in the quick play... Q? And it didn't change them. And I have heal on mid lane. And this guy has an arcane comment. I guess he probably should have. But, like, I changed my runes. Why do I have electric Q? Fuck, man. And Twitch has fucking lethal tempo. We're finally in the game. We can start uh, the shield. I think playing against this champion is kind of easy. That's pretty high cooldowns, I think. That's an auto attack thing. Okay. Heal Pike, amazing stuff. Probably shouldn't have gone in there, he got level 3. Need my W now. Recall get cancelled. Nocturne top. Really. I'm gonna build this first, and I want to try to get wave clear with a uh, game map. Oh yeah, and Sheen costs a uh, thousand now. Yeah, and it gives you ten ability haste. I don't think that's a good change. Why is she here? Wait, what? Oh, well, I'm two thirty fucking ping.
Did they have a vision everywhere? Oh, my fault. An enemy has been slain. Why does he have so much range, by the way? He killed me out of vision. What? Enemy double kill. Carthus has R again. How does Carthus have R again? Your turret has been destroyed. He has R again. What? What is this? He has R every like five seconds. Dude, if I was on like actual king, I would have played so well. But Carlos is gonna have an R again. Look, he has R again. And I'm dead. Fucking Nocturnard. I'm gonna die here. Nope. No it. Honestly, worth it for the cannon. Oh my god, it's Baron. Did you see that? <laughs> That's so cool. No oh, man, I cannot play in 230 ping. Okay, like if I had this item here, I probably would have uh, survived. Cause it'll give me 150 move speed, like holy shit. So much. It is over like a very short duration, but it's also it's really good. This might so I mean, this might also be a pretty good item on him, but um Your energized attack will deal uh bonus physical damage, not your ability. This is what I'm worried about. Hitting auto attacks in late game as Pike is uh, pretty hard. Mostly rely on your abilities. Since. I feel like they made the game like much slower. Way slower paced. For some reason. Man, chill out. Holy fuck. Why is she chasing me so hard? Why is everybody on like better ping than I am? I didn't lag, man. I can't move. She's dead. Wow. 